my apology, I have some problems, technical problems, by not, uh, but so far I, I think that you can see, you can see my screen uh, with my presentation. I hope it, it's everything now okay. And uh, I will proceed with uh, just a few, few things about our project. It's a Horizon project that started in, in uh, September 2018. And the first plan was uh, that uh, duration of the project will be 36 months. But uh, uh, due to the situation with, with the corona crisis, with, the, with this uh, corona outbreak, uh, we asked for prolongation of this project for six months, and uh, this project will be uh, finished uh, at the end of February next year. So uh, the main purpose of the project is to enhance our excellence uh, from uh, um, us uh, researchers from University of Zagreb, from Faculty of Mechanical Engineering and, and Naval Architecture in the field of uh, advanced application of additive manufacturing by knowledge transfer from our partners. And in, in three specific, uh, three strategic fields uh, like uh, transportation, tool making, and, uh, and uh, medical application. And you can see here our partners. So we have a partner, IDEME from Spain. Uh, uh, they are uh, experts in uh, development and, uh, and uh, processing of uh, metallic materials with additive manufacturing uh, technologies, uh, mainly uh, PBF and uh, electron beam melting technologies. Uh, then we have uh, as a partner Lund University from Sweden. They are experts in uh, design for additive uh, manufacturing optimization. We learn a lot from them about topology optimization uh, during the stay in, in, in land in, in 2019. Uh, then we have as a partner uh, Montan University in Leoben. Uh, they are experts in in uh, mixing and uh, preparing and developing of material for um, mainly uh, fused filament fabrication technologies. Not only polymers, but also composite uh, materials like metals, combination metals, polymers, uh, ceramic uh, polymers, and so on. And we have a partner from uh, UK. It's a Brunel University which is uh, uh, an expert in uh, field, for example, uh, functional graded additive manufacturing. And uh, Eugene, uh, Dr. Eugene, uh, which is a team member, is also an expert for uh, standardization in, in uh, additive manufacturing. So uh, there are some of the uh, basic, ba basic uh, uh, expertise from, from our partner, which uh, uh, were used in, in, in this project in order to uh, transfer their knowledge to us so that we can be uh, better in, in uh, those strategic fields. Uh, this is very interesting uh, uh, part of our work during the stay in Sweden by application of topology optimization, lattice like structure, and so on. Uh, this is one example of development and uh, use and fabrication of uh, materials produced in, in Leoben. And as I already told you that uh, Brunel University uh, from London is specialized in especially functional graded additive manufacturing, which is very interesting for us. And I hope that this, uh, this uh, uh, area in the future will take a more serious role in, in uh, uh, additive manufacturing in general. So uh, we are uh, already, we were already specialized in polymer-based additive technologies, so material jetting. We have this technology since 2014 and with material extrusion and what uh, for the polymerization. But we acquired through this project, some additional knowledge about topology optimization, about functional grade manufacturing, uh, about uh, uh, preparing the material polymers, as well as metal, metal material. So uh, we have a lot of outcomes from this project. We are approaching to the end, but uh, I can point out uh, at least two outcomes here. One is uh, our advanced entity manufacturing handbook, which was published as a deliverable in our project, but our aim is to uh, publish this uh, this uh, uh, handbook, maybe a little bit changed, uh, as a 
book, uh, and we are now in process of publishing with Springer Nature uh, publisher, uh, and the title of this book will be A Guide to Additive Manufacturing, and we expected that this book will be published maybe a few months uh, after closing the project, but uh, we will prepare it, uh, I believe, within the uh, next few weeks uh, completely, this manuscript, and uh, the process will go on, so we expect uh, in first half of next year that this book will be published by Springer Nature. And uh, another uh, maybe uh, important outcome of this uh, project is uh, uh, establishment of uh, so-called ADAM platform. This is Advanced Additive Manufacturing Platform, which uh, should present a point of uh, our future cooperation, but not only our uh, partners within this project, but also uh, with uh, with uh, uh, new partners from industry, from uh, from research, from from science. So, uh, next slide, you can see uh, our idea how this platform should work. So, we will cover those six main areas for, for all who are interested in in cooperation with us in this field of additive manufacturing. So uh, you can visit this web page of, of uh, our our project, and uh, this is a uh, area for uh, for uh, signing in to the platform. And according to my colleague Mirdrag, uh, all of attendees of this uh, of this uh, uh, workshop is already uh, or are already uh, registered for the platform. So you received. Uh, uh, username and password so that you can uh, sign in on the platform and uh, uh, search for uh, cooperation with us. Uh, you can give some suggestions. Uh, you can ask whatever you, you need and we will try to help you. And uh, at the end of this introduction, uh, introduction presentation, I would like to announce a second, second event from this uh, uh, from these uh, activities within our project, uh, uh, which will be organized in 17 December, also uh, in in uh, in this online way through the Zoom uh, Zoom platform, and this event will be dedicated to the medical modeling for additive manufacturing. Maybe more specific than today today's uh, uh, today's uh, workshop. So uh, we will speak about some. Uh, Characteristics uh, or, or some 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 uh, issues that are connected to the medical modeling for additive manufacturing, uh, for uh, for example, dosis, prosthesis, uh, some uh, uh, implants. Uh, so uh, I don't have so far finished agenda, but as soon as I will have it. Uh, I will be free to send uh, the agenda to all uh, participants of this workshop. So if uh, some of you will be interested also to visit this event for a few weeks, uh, you, are, uh, you are welcome. So this is all for me. And uh, I will stop sharing my screen.